First of all, the problem with Obamacare is it does not control the costs of health care. They continue to escalate. And if they continue to, the people that are going to be hurt are the ones that are going to be rationed, which are going to be all of us, because we're probably not going to have the money to, uh, to uh, be able to evade that. Secondly, health insurance costs in my state uh, have gone up by an average of 80 percent. So to make health care more affordable, how do you make it affordable when the costs are going up through the roof for the insurance? And finally, it's trapped small businesses who don't want to get caught in the web of Obamacare. So what would I do? Well, I'd take some federal resources and I'd combine it with a freed up Medicaid plan to continue to cover the working poor. We can't eliminate this and have, you know, tens of millions of, of Americans without health insurance. And by the way, if I'm president, a pre-existing condition will never be acceptable to de denying you health insurance. That is un-American to take people off because they got sick. That's just a ripoff. But here's the larger plan, and we are actually doing this in our state, and I would like to take it nationally. You see, we, it, we don't know how our hospitals really do and what their costs are, and we really don't know how our doctors do or what their costs are. It's easier to interpret the Dead Sea Scrolls than it is a hospital bill. Did you ever check, find, figure that out? So what we want to do is total transparency. How's a hospital do? What's its quality? What's its readmission rate? What's its infection rate? And by the way, with physicians, you say you're good. What's the quality? What's the cost? And what we're doing is we're releasing all this information. We know some charge a lot. We know some charge less. And right here is the midpoint. And what we're saying is if you can provide quality to a patient, whether you're a hospital or a health care provider, below the midpoint, we will give you a financial reward if you're providing quality at a lower price. You see, we want to get the market into driving, first of all, your understanding of the system, your ability to make a choice, and a constant effort to deliver high quality at a low price by giving people financial rewards. If your primary care doctor keeps you healthy for the year, why not a little bit of a reward? And that's the way we're designing the system. We're doing it in Medicaid. And now the health care insurance companies are beginning to say, in an effort to control costs, because think of your deductibles, they're almost as high now as, as having a catastrophic plan. So we have to get in the business of high quality at lower prices driven by the marketplace.